this is Mr. Capert. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create what Inventor calls a presentation. It gives you an exploded view of your puzzle, meaning it shows how all the parts come together. It can be used for other really cool things. If you have a different type of project, such as a car, you could show wheels turning. Um, this shows gears and how they come together. So you're going to go to Create View, and you're going to find your assembly. All of you guys hopefully saved yours to the H drive. Mine's not on the H drive though. Mine is right here. You're gonna click on it. Notice there's a preview to make sure it's the right thing. You are going to put OK. And then from here you can tweak all these components, pull them apart. So you grab whatever one you want to first, but I'm gonna grab the one closest and on top to me. And then what's neat is you can pull it up you can pull it to the right by doing a left click on each of these arrows. Up to you, but I like to get it where all the parts can easily be seen. And then you just click and drag it up. You could do this and then come out this way. I normally don't do that. I just keep them coming out of there straight. Check mark is good. So tweak component, I would choose my blue part, pull an arrow, check mark good. As you can see, this is pretty fast process. Pull a little further, check mark. I might want to go downwards with this one. I kind of want to look at it from this way. When I put on a sheet of paper, I'm going to put it like this. So I want to make sure I can see all of them. I'm going to put an ISO like this into a poster which you guys are gonna get to do too. So it's nice to have it where you can see each one, but they're not so far out that you need to shrink this down to fit onto a poster. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you mess up anything at all, you can always do a control Z, which goes back in time. Um, you can also tweak the component again and take it back to where it was before. And then when you save, remember to save to your H drive. Thank you. Let me know if you have any additional questions.